Hey guys, Figurecraft here, and today we're going to be finally starting on the next build of the Titanic. So for this, you're going to need your Bigo stand. So we got that. You're going to need your Issue 105 book. You're going to need your screwdriver set, and I've also got a, uh, a bigger, thicker screwdriver here. With those bolts that we're going to be putting in the bottom. And you're also going to need, that's 106, give me a few seconds here to find it, nope, Hundred and eight, hundred and seven. 110. You find them all but that box. There it is, 105. You're also going to need your issue 105 box. So, going ahead and opening up the book. Speaker. For sound effects. Step one. Take the speaker 105D and the holder 105B. Fit the speaker into the holder so that the cable run the cables run through the recess circled. All right, so getting your box open, we're going to need this piece, and we're going to need our speaker piece, which is in here, this heavy thing. Okay, we're going to need these screws. And these pieces, put that back in there. All right, so taking the speaker, we're looking for this opening. Set it there. Taking the main black part of the speaker, yeah, it goes flat down. And this is going to sit on top of there. And then the cables going to come out the recess right there. So we got that. Put this stuff to the side. All right. Step two. Fit the speaker assembly into the battery box 204B so that the holes in the holder 105B align with the raised screw sockets in the box 105B. Note that the cables should run through, should run out of the holder on the side next to the circuit board fit in place with three BP screws. <laughs> Let me grab my phone here. Try to show you this. Oh. So, we're right here. So, for that, we're going to need our main board. And instead of trying to flop this thing upside down on here, I'm just going to do it different. I'm just going to insert the speaker. Make sure it's the right way. Yeah. I'm just going to insert the speaker in here. Just like that. Looking for the cables. 
me straighten up these cables. There. And then making sure the recess is there. Trying to find the screw sockets. Which I think is right there. And yeah, that's through the recesses. Make sure I got that right. Yeah, I got it right. Okay. So I got that set on there. Black on black is hard to see, I tell you. I'm going to need my screwdriver set. We're going to go with a Come on. PH2. Try that one first. And we need BP screws. No, not them. There they are, BP. need three BP screws. So let me check to see if this is the right screwdriver. And... It is not. <laughs> Wrong screwdriver. Okay, so now we're going to go with PH1. Uh, oh, come on. You stupid camera. I can't get it. It's PH1, though. Okay, so let's see here. Where's the first screw? Can't see. Uh, one right here. Okay, that's one. And there's one right here. And that's two. And then there's one. I think it's in front of me right here. It's so hard to see this thing. Yeah, right there. That one's in good. I think those are in. Yeah, and then this. Let me look at this. Yeah, it's still in the recess. Okay. Step three. Connect the cable running from the battery housing to socket A of the circuit board. 104A, connect the speaker cable 
to socket B circled below. So, you get your focus back here. I'm going to take this, put this to the side for right now. This right here has to go into there. And the one with the boys in them is right. This is a very tight fit. Just get it pushed down. There we go. Okay, so that's in there. That is an extreme tight fit to get in there. We don't want the boys in there. not kidding. That is tight. Run the slack. Got the slack. Okay, and then this right here has to go over top of them cables into B all the way over here. So I've got to turn this around. And I gotta put B right in here. Just like that. Okay. B is in its socket. Need to lower this cable down a bit. There we go. So, just like that in the instructions. Okay. Then we go to step four. Step four. Fit the battery box 104B to the base of the stand 103A. Place the battery box upside down on the stand. As shown in the photo above and connect the two cables C and D to the con to the corresponding sockets on the circuit board circled left all right I think we're through with this screw bag right here so let me just get the phone Basically right there. That's our next step. Now right then. So I'll set you here. And let me grab the base. Now with mine, I tied off mine right here. We made like a knot. That way it really can't pull back through. But in the instructions, it's showing it untied. So I guess I got to untie it. Unless I want to leave it like that and see if it does still do power like that. With it tied like that. I mean, it's loosely tied. I'm going to try to put it on there like that. Now, first of all, where does what go? Okay, so D and C, which one of these is more, okay, that's D, and that's C, these first, this is going to be fun. Let me 
me see here. How did they do that? How did they get by that wire? Over top of it. So I got to make a... Like this. Yeah, it's going in between the black wire and the red wire. And then D goes into D. Okay. It's probably one of the bad things keeping it tied like that. It's got me less slack. And then C. Oh. Boy. It's going to go into C. And then let me see how they got that. Just coming up and over. I'll try to show it to you here in a minute. First, I gotta get this in. Make sure it's in the right way. Yeah. Put it down like this, that way I can get some more slack. I gotta push it in. For some reason this one doesn't want to push in. There it goes. Okay. And then we got that done now. <laughs> so let's go to the next step now. Step five, make sure that you do not pull any of the sockets out of the circuit board. Turn the battery box the right way up and position it on the stand so that the screw holes are aligned. Turn the stand upside down so that you can fix the battery box in place using four washer screws 105 circled above. Okay. So, first things first. Now, there are two ways that this can go. You don't want it going this way right here because your switch is on this side. You want to turn it around. And then, we're going to find the locations here. So, let's see here. Uh, I can't do it with it tied down like that because it won't reach. So, I am going to have to untie it. Ah, uh, great. Okay. One, two, <laughs> all right, let me do this again, just untie these cords. It would have been nice if I could have kept it tied, that way it wouldn't pull back through. I just did it the way they showed it in the instructions from the last time after you finished it, but apparently you can't keep it like that. All right. At least I don't think you can. Because I think it'll make it too short. Huh. 
Yeah, I'm not going to try it. All right. D again, which is here. All right, come here. Get out of there. Ugh, they're getting tangled up. Okay. D. Back into D. Okay. And then C back into C. All right. Make sure those are fully in. Because they'll snap on you and then you'll know. Yeah, they're in. Anyways, like I say, don't put it that way. You want it to turn around. And we're going to play the game of maneuvering it around. To get it to go down. Which is going to be easier said than done. Come on. I think that's got it. Let me get those washer screws. Because I'm going to have to hold this thing with my hand upside down. There ain't no way I'm putting it flat down with those things sticking up. Okay. There's our washer screws. Use my big screwdriver. I'm going to pick this up. Make sure this cord's up in there. Let me look at this right fast. I want to make sure that I'm not pinching any cables. Yeah, I'm not. Okay. So. I'm going to get one in this hole right here. Give me a few seconds here. I gotta get it started. Boy, that is not easy. That ain't gonna work. Okay. Let's get my other screwdriver. We're having some resistance with this one. It does not want to go in. Let me try to unscrew it back out of the hole. So we're having some major resistance. For some reason. Let me try to put this in a different hole. This just ain't right.
Okay, I got one in. For some reason, that screw did not want to go in that one hole. Try this one. There's that resistance again. Oh my gosh, what in the world? Yeah, that screw just does not want to go all the way in. There's some major resistance. I'll try to keep forcing it. Good Lord. Almost got it. Okay. Oh, man. That was hard. Two more screws to go. Alright, one more to go. Right down here. Yeah, these screws are a pain to get in. Alright. I got those on. Here's the back of our stand. This will be the front up here. <laughs> Turn into the last page. Step six. Fit the flange on the battery box cover into the slots in the battery housing. Secure the tab on the other side of the cover in place with an NM screw. Do not insert batteries or carry out any operational test at this stage. Alright. So... Opening up our battery cover. We're going to insert the two tabs in and then just drop it down. And now we're going to get one of those screws, which they gave us two. We only need one. Then I'm going to need to change my screwdriver head back to the PH1.
There we go. And that right there is uh, it. Completed work. The speaker has been fitted to the battery box and the assembly has been fixed to the support stand. So now we have, uh, if I can get it, oh, this much of our stand done. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed and I hope y'all are doing safe during these troublesome times. And you all have a blessed one. And when I come back, we'll be doing the next part of the Titanic. But until then, goodbye.